friends, thanks for joining me. Wow, it is so nice and sunny out today. It's so beautiful. But do you know what I noticed? Last night when I went to sleep, it was dark outside and the moon was up and I couldn't see anything. But when I woke up this morning, the sun was out. It was bright and warm and the birds were chirping. But I bet when I go to sleep again tonight, it's going to get dark and the moon will come out. But when I wake up tomorrow morning, it will be sunny, right? Then what do you think will happen when I fall asleep the next night? Yeah, it'll be dark again and the moon will be out. But of course, when I wake up the next day, what will happen? Yeah, that's right. The sun will be out and it'll be bright again. This happens every single day. At night, it's dark and the moon is out. And in the day, it's bright and sunny and warm. At night, it's dark. Day, it's bright. Dark, bright. And that happens with the moon. The moon comes out at night. The sun is the day. Moon, sun. Moon, sun. They keep repeating. They happen again and again because the day and night is a pattern. It means that it repeats. Can you say repeat? Awesome. It happens over and over again. And it always stays the same. It's always going to be night, day, night, day, night, day. And you can look at it like this too. Maybe you want to start with day, night, day, night, day, night. We did change what we started with, but the pattern stayed the same. Day, night, day, night day, night. What would be next? Day, then, night. Awesome. The day and night cycle is a natural pattern we see in our world. I wonder what other natural patterns there are. Let's think. Did you get one? Oh, I know. I remember a while ago, it was spring and all the trees had beautiful flowers on. Well, not all the trees, but many trees had beautiful flowers on them because it was springtime. But now we're coming into summer and the flowers are going away, but we're still having lots of these nice green leaves. But when we go back to school in the fall, the leaves are going to change color. Do you remember what color they're going to turn? Yeah, they're going to turn orange and red for fall. And after they turn orange and red, do you remember what happens? Yeah, they fall off and it might even get so cold that it snows. But after that, what happens? Yeah, spring comes again and we get these beautiful flower trees again. And what happens after spring? Summer. Let's see, spring, summer, what's gonna come next? The fall where the leaves turn orange. And finally, winter when the leaves fall off. This is another natural pattern we see in our world. It's the cycle of seasons and it is also a pattern. Spring, summer, fall, winter. Spring, summer, fall, winter. What would come next? Yeah, spring. It's just gonna go again because it repeats. All right, friends, let's see if you can find some patterns in your home or maybe think of a pattern that you know of and draw a picture. I can't wait to see what sort of patterns you find 
have fun exploring, friends.